Earlier at 5.30, we told you about world champion boxer Marvin Camel being reunited with his stolen title belts. Well, his brother Ken is also heavily involved in the boxing community as well and recently brought his family's legacy back to the Flathead Indian Reservation. Ken Camel and his brother Marvin grew up in Ronan on the Flathead Indian Reservation with dreams of one day becoming professional boxers. Both worked hard at their craft and eventually that became a reality as they both forged successful boxing careers for themselves. Marvin went on to have a decorated career inside the ring, becoming a two-time cruiserweight world champion. Ken boxed only in a handful of amateur fights before going pro and then eventually left the sport for a promising career in technology. I worked for a sequel corporation, uh, subcontracted with Cisco Systems, re rebuilding and upgrading modems, routers and hubs. And technically they have companies all over the world and I could have, you know, been all over the world. But Ken decided to choose a different path as he found his way back home to the Mission Valley with a life purpose to fulfill, bringing boxing back to his hometown. Camel would run shop over the years in temporary locations and eventually get his own boxing gym in Poulsen. Started out as a boxing program. Where's the next world champion coming from? Then eventually it morphed into something a little bit more about this, you know, the suicides and the drug abuse. If we sit there and help the kids, you know, develop uh, self-awareness, perhaps that in itself will be able to allow them to be more resistant to the and resilient to the pressures of the society that leads towards, you know, suicides and uh, substance abuse. Now, 10 years after coming back, Camel has moved to a new gym in Pablo, and he's slowly but surely starting to see the positive effects. Native American reservations seeming to latch on to the idea of boxing as a self-tool for developing the warrior. And just like I said, I have a kid that came out of Ronan and one of his counselors looked at me and says, thank you, I see the change in that guy. It hasn't been easy for Ken though. Recently, he thought the gym may be closing due to financial problems before receiving a timely grant. All of a sudden I thought one door was shutting and then they offered me a grant last week and uh, signed the papers and now I'm doing some finalizing of the, the packet so that I can be able to go forward and feel better about what, there's no burdens on the financial aspect of it and I can just focus on the people. He knows that suicide and drug abuse is an ongoing issue that will take a lot of time to curb, but he believes boxing is on the rise again and in return will make a positive impact on the Mission Valley community. Knowing that it helped me deal with the stresses and ups and downs of life, I'm sure it will help someone else.